All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shit Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this lesson on um, Hey Christians, where is the Lord's fear? Okay, and this goes back to, uh, I'm going to start off with Malachi 1 and 6. It says, a son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And when you go into the word uh, honor, okay, um, it's uh, ka kabawad, kabawad, okay, it says uh, glory, honor, abundance, uh, riches, splendor, dignity, reputation, reverence okay uh you know you 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 uh christians do not reverence uh the lord like you think think you do you know you're not you're not honoring him you know uh with your you know mind spirit body and spirit you know but it says uh and if i be a master where is my fear okay now we're going to this uh word fear okay uh ma mawara mawara okay it says uh fear reverence once again terror okay uh all inspiring spectacle or deed okay a fearful thing okay terribleness okay the scripture says that the most high is terrible, man. Okay? Dread. Okay? Let's see what this word dread mean. It's not talking about that dread that uh you know uh people be having on their heads, man. Okay? It says anticipate with great apprehension. Okay? Uh fear, be afraid of Worry about, be anxious about, have forebodings about, be terrified by, tremble, shudder at, okay? When you read this word, when you read the Bible, you know, you're really supposed to be trembling, man. It's, it's, the scripture says, okay, uh, I'm going to get that. Because you Christians, you know, y'all understand what this, this word is saying, man, Okay? Um, it's, uh, this is, uh, Psalms 2 and 11, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay. Uh, Philippians 2 and 12, wherefore my beloved, as you have not, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling okay because you know the, the the thing is that you know if you don't fear the lord okay the lord could end up putting you to death man okay it says a trembling or a quaking with fear okay um the i'm gonna play the, the greek word strong's g 5156 tramas tramas Okay, traumas, okay? It says, with fear and trembling used to describe the anxiety of one who distrusts his abilities or ability completely to meet all requirements, but religiously does his utmost to fulfill his duty, okay? See, we're not, we don't know whether or not we're good enough, you know, for the Lord. We don't know whether we're uh, 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 a part of his chosen Okay, the ones that are meant to be saved. Okay, we don't know that. You Christians got this, uh, what's the word? Um, this false sense that you're already saved is if you know that when you die, where you're going to go at, man. You don't know what the heck you're going to do. Your integrity is not that, that, uh, it's not that, uh, that strong, man. To even sit up there and say that you that you know where you're gonna go at when you die, you know, 
That's really, really proud for you to sit up there and say, man. Okay? When the scriptures talks about something totally different than what you're talking about, man. Okay? We don't know whether we're whether we nobody is gonna meet all the requirements to to to, to uh be saved. Okay? But we we have hope that, you know, at the end of the day, that we we will be. You know? We have hope that we, we will be saved. You know? You Christians walk around like, yeah, I'm already saved. No, we are, you're supposed to hope that you're saved, man, when that time comes. Because the time ain't here now, okay? Now, the Lord, you know, part of the 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 uh, the uh fear is what you're being saved from, man, okay? Because the, the, the Bible talks about uh, thermonuclear destruction, famine, okay, uh, diseases, okay? You got animals that are that are slated to kill people out here. The so-called uh, white man, the government, okay, they're slated to kill people, okay. Police, these niggas out here on the streets, you know, just going down the street, waking up, you know, go, print, you gotta you gotta set up a prayer that you in, you end up being protected when you go to work, man. You know, so so if the Lord is the master, where's his fear, man? Okay, it says, save the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. Because when we sit up there and tell you that his name is not God, okay, his son's name is not Jesus, you know, y'all don't want to listen, man. It says, and you have said, wherein have we despised our name? Because y'all are so busy thinking that God is a, a, a name or, or, or Jesus is the name or, or Christ is the name, you know? This is Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord... Okay, which when you go into the word Lord, okay, it's Yahweh, okay, in the Hebrew, okay, for I am Yahweh, as the scriptures say, I change not, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord doesn't change, man, okay, he never changes, okay, from from the very beginning, he never changed, okay. And 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 he doesn't he, he doesn't want you to think that you know you don't you don't have to honor him or, or have fear towards him, man. Because you Christians believe that that God is an all loving God, you know? And that's so far away from the, the truth of the scriptures. It says, even from the days of your fathers, you are gone away from my in order from mine order ordinances. Okay, because the Lord set up a certain order for people to be on this planet, man. Okay, uh, he gave people uh certain tasks that he want them to do. Okay, which the 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 order going to the statutes. Okay, um, yeah, it goes into the statutes, the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, it says uh limit something prescribed. Okay, was the word was prescribed to us. Okay, um. It says, um, enactment, uh, decree. Okay. So you're supposed to, you, you supposed to, uh, bring out, make these, uh, these, bring these scriptures to life, man. And apply these to your life, man. Okay. Um, so, uh, it says you, you, uh, you, you gone away from, from the Lord's ordinances of how, how he, how he does things and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of, Lord of hosts. But you said, where and shall we return? Because you people don't think that it's nothing for you to return to. You know, you think that you're already saved. But no, you have to return back onto, you know, the heritage that the Lord gave you. Returning back onto the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he gave his chosen people. Okay? If you're, if you're a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord, you're going to come back. And to the, the truth, man, and follow the ways of what, you know, we here at Great Millstone say, you know, because it starts here, man. You know, we're, we're those real men, man, that, that are teaching you the truth of the scriptures, you know, about who you actually are. We don't sit up there and, you know, uh, give you a lot of fluff, man. Okay, so you people need to return back onto uh, the Lord, you know, and repent, you know, but you thinking that you already repented. Okay, it says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. 
But you say, wherein have we robbed you? It says, in tithes and offerings. Offerings. Okay? And don't they do that a lot of oftentimes in these churches? They always send it up tights and, you know, they, they collecting, you know, all the uh, money from people in the uh, congregation. You know, those people are robbing, robbing the Lord, man. You know, that money ain't going to, you know, uh, what the Lord wants, man. You know, that money is going into them, them pastor's pockets. You know, it ain't going back into the, 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 uh, the community, you know. They'll probably do something to have a little cookout or whatever, but a lot of these churches ain't ain't doing uh stuff in order, man. You know, as far as how the scriptures say. You know, they just doing all doing what the government say that they can do. So um continuing on. Matt Malachi three and thirteen. Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Okay, when well, you're going to the word stout, okay, it says uh, it's Kazakh. Okay. Which is strong or strength. It says to strengthen, prevail, harden, become, be strong, become strong, be courageous, be firm, grow firm, uh, be resolute, be sore. You know, and that's what a lot of you, uh, or it says to be severe, be grievous. Okay. So it says, um, yet you say, where have we spoken so much against you? You know, because when, when a man of the Lord, you know, an you know, uh, uh, Israelite, you know, in particular from Great Millstone, sits up there and tell you, hey, you need to do this or you need to do that. This is what the scriptures say. Have faith. You know, don't do this. Don't do that. You people are, are, are really proud and you, you, you speak against what, what brothers say, man. When, when we sit up there and we say that the Lord is the one killing people. Okay, or, or or we bring out the truth that nobody goes to hell when they pass away, you know, that, you know, we're living in hell or hell is the grave, according to the scriptures, you people, y'all buck up against that because that's what the hell y'all was taught, man. It says, you have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have to keep his ordinance and that we have walked Morphly before the Lord of hosts because you don't understand the, the the fact is we have to walk mournfully before the Lord That goes into to fear in the Lord because is the, the the word trembling says We don't know whether or not we're going we good or not man. We we living in hell We can't serve the Lord perfectly in this this world man And this the, in this society known as America in this world period as it stands Okay you, it's it's all against the scriptures, man. Okay, the scriptures has a whole total different understanding what you people out here are making it to be. Okay, Matthew seven and twenty one. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. And ain't don't that sound like something that you should fear? Because you got a lot of people out here saying that Lord, Lord. It says, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Okay. It says, many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophes prophesied in thy name? And this will even go to, to Israelites, and, and in thy name cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wondrous work, I mean wonderful works? And I then will I and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. <coughs> Lawlessness. You don't want to follow the orders of what the Lord set up to do. Okay? And this is a, a good scripture, you know, Romans 8 and 32. It says, He that not he that spared not his own son, you know, because you Christians like to sit up there and say the father and the son is the same person. Well, the scripture just said that the father didn't spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. You know, and that's the point. You know, the, the, the father didn't spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, you know? So, so if the Lord didn't spare his own son, how much more do you think he's going to, uh, uh, spare you, you know? Um, this is, um, Luke 10 and 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit everlasting eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? 
how readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor is thyself. Okay? And this is one of the things that you uh, Christians do not do. You do not love your neighbor as yourself, man. Because your neighbor... Okay, you don't understand who your neighbor is in the first place. Okay, but you the, the, the people that you sit up there and have in your congregation, you're not correcting them or, or trying to lead them onto the right path as far as what the scriptures say. You know, you're not doing that. When when correction comes, you oh, don't judge. We're not supposed to judge. And, you know, that's not that's not love, man. Okay, um, it says, and he said unto him, thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said, said unto Yahweh Shah, or, you know, to say Jesus, and, and who is my neighbor? And Yahweh Shah answering said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment. And wounded him and departed him, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed on the other side. So you got certain people who, you know, they, they walked past this guy. They just got, you know, beaten up. Okay, left half dead. And a priest just walked by, you know, and just passed him by. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the, the place... Came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And went with and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine. And, and y'all don't understand this, man. Because, you know, when, when if, if y'all was to get, you know, sick or whatever... What y'all gonna y'all gonna give somebody Tylenol and stuff like that, you know? Y'all y'all understand how to you know uh you know how the Lord deals with uh healing people, man. Okay, it says pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an end and took care of him. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was a neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, he that sold mercy on him. Then said, Yahweh saw unto him, go and do likewise. You know, because you Christians, which y'all don't do, when it's all said and done, you know, when, when church is over, you don't even know the people that's in your church. You know, most often than not, y'all always talking about fellowship and all that stuff. You don't know people that's in your church, you know. Uh, and and, and y'all don't, don't show that compassion to, to, to one another, you know. Uh, y'all don't have mercy on, on one another, you know. And, 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 and it's sad, man, because... You know, these y'all are people who sit up there and think that y'all know the scriptures and y'all don't, man. You know? But with that, you know, I just want to say, man, where's where's the Lord fear, man? You know? Because if if you feared the Lord, you would be a walking manifestation of what he said to do. Okay? But with that, you know, hopefully this was uh edifying. I want to say something warm till next time.